We all have heard about the benefits of dairy products and it is true. Because those microorganisms that live in dairy products are of great benefit to our intestines and many other organs, and not by chance experts recommend to include in our diet dairy products in a mandatory manner. But there is a nuance, the fact that some dairy products bring you more harm than good and about these products need to be aware. While some dairy products are much more useful than their others so in this video, I decided to make such a focused selection, in the beginning we will talk about the most harmful fermented dairy products, and then I will tell you about the most useful fermented dairy products. So you get the big picture, and you watch it all the way to the end. So let's go. So let's start by talking about the harmful dairy products, item number one is processed cheese, processed cheese is really likely to do more harm than good, on the one hand it is a source of calcium phosphorus and some vitamins, but on the other hand it is an excellent source of phosphates. Phosphates are those substances which are added to give it a pasty texture and phosphates are obviously harmful, it is proven in particular phosphates prevent the absorption of calcium, in fact significant doses of phosphates begin to destroy the calcium reserves in your body. That is, if we abuse processed cheese, we can really earn ourselves bone problems and especially phosphates are dangerous for children, abusing processed cheese can even cause rickets. In addition, processed cheese contains killer doses of sodium it is too salty. Although this very property could note, for example, those people who like to go hiking in the mountains. For example I. In Gary no refrigerator, but it is well known that the regular cheese stored in a hike a few days, but the processed cheese is stored for much longer. That is why hikers often take with them regular cheese plus processed cheese, the first days we eat regular cheese until it goes bad, and then the entrance goes melted. Well, if necessary, when you need something to eat and there is nothing else, this can be resorted to. We go further, the next dairy product from which there will definitely be more harm than good, this is the following combination, low-fat sweet yogurt. But if you buy a low-fat yogurt in the store, and also with a sweet taste, do not think that you are eating something useful, of course it can be used as a source of calories because it is better than going all day hungry, took with a snack bottle of yogurt and fortified with energy, it is good, but good from such products do not wait. Why? First, all non-fat dairy products, it is in some ways flawed, and secondly, the calcium from non-fat dairy products is generally not absorbed because it goes through such chemical processes that the body is simply not susceptible to this form of calcium, and thirdly, if you read the composition of non-fat yogurt there is often added starch, it would seem that what does the starch in yogurt? Starch has a place in the potato how it got into a dairy product, but really right on the label of yogurt composition starch. The starch is added there artificially to give it a consistency, to thicken it, the benefits of such starch is actually not, it is actually sugar, and another component I said is the sweet taste, of course very often yogurts are filled with just huge doses of sugar, so that the sugar was almost like in soda, of course any dairy products must be sugar free. Going forward, the next item is dairy products with milk fat substitutes. Yes, it is a whole problem. I must say that it depends on the country, because for example in Europe it is literally forbidden but for example in Russia it is allowed, that is, in principle you can make cheese based on palm oil is legal, one can only hope that the manufacturer write that the composition is palm oil, that is, god forbid you buy for example sour cream or cheese and says vegetable oil, all put on the shelf and stay away from the product, there should be no vegetable component in sour cream and similar. And finally, I will add probably still for you all the obvious points these are all sweets wrapped in dairy products, that is, for example, condensed milk, this of course nightmare, it's just an injection of sugar, glazed curds also nothing good will not bring, boiled condensed milk there goes, then I think everything is already clear. And now we turn to the most useful dairy products, and here the number one item is natural yogurt, just natural yogurt prepared with high quality bacterial sourdough without adding sugar and other unnecessary ingredients, it must be said that buy a real live yogurt in the supermarket is a problem, of course you can somewhere in the health food departments to look but guarantees that it really is a quality yogurt. So the best way is to make a living yogurt yourself, separately purchased is. Bacterial starter which is stored in the refrigerator or even in the freezer, this is usually white powder, this is pure bacteria, then you buy milk, not usually pasteurized, but simply pasteurized, that is, milk that quickly sourdough, literally in a week, sourdough is added to milk and then cooked on a window sill or on the radiator, or the best if you have a yogurt machine. It can provide the desired temperature for a long period and the output is very. What is the principle here? The fact is that milk contains as we know lactose, lactose is a milk sugar, that is a simple carbohydrate, 
When we add bacteria to this very milk then the bacteria begin to eat this lactose, that is a source of energy for them they eat it, they multiply their continue to eat lactose and multiply, as a result our milk product and becomes sour milk. That is, it sours at the expense of these bacteria, which is why there will be no lactose in the finished yogurt because these bacteria have eaten it, so these same bacteria and will provide the greatest benefit for our intestines and the whole body, because a healthy gut and healthy microflora have been proven to strengthen our immunity and nervous system, have a positive effect on our mood and mental abilities. Yes strange as it may seem, but the intestinal microflora is actually a separate organ, because a healthy adult human body contains from 1 to 2 kilograms of microbes, so you can imagine and this is the norm. And we have to help the good microbes conventionally defeat the bad microbes. The next point is cheese, what kind of cheese will be most beneficial for our body, here, as strange as it may seem, nutritionists often recommend sheep or goat milk cheeses, and there are a number of reasons for this, first, in such cheeses absolutely no lactose, also goat cheese is less caloric and contains a huge amount of protein, also it is a lot of potassium, calcium, magnesium, B vitamins, vitamin C, and a very good mixture of probiotics, that is, healthy microflora. That's all my friends, thank you for watching till the end, if you like this video, like and subscribe to it, see you soon.